What's going on guys? This is that genius dude here. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to fix a corrupt USB drive or a corrupt hard drive. And if you have a corrupt disk, like a flo not a floppy disk, but uh, a CD drive, then it will not work. Or I mean the CD itself. It, it does not, the computer does not detect it, does not show it on the disk part program built into command prompt that we're going to be using today. And if you have Vista or 7, then you can go to the start menu and search it in. Uh, but with XP, um, I, I have no clue how to get to the command prompt. But I think I think it's somewhere on the side. But I have no clue. I haven't used XP in years, so sorry I can't show you on this. Show you that on this. But yeah, Vista or Seven. Just go in the search bar and on the, on the start menu and type in CMD. Hit enter or click on it. You should select it automatically. But and the first thing you want to do when you're in the command prompt, you want to type in disk D I S K and no space uh, part B R P A R T and hit enter. And then you can select uh, hit yes. And then another window is going to pop up. And then wait till it says disk part with uh, that little arrow thing. I don't know what it's called. And or greater greater than sign. That's what it is. <coughs> and sorry for that. And then the next thing you want to do is type in list or list. <laughs> sorry for that. Disk. And with the space. And you'll see the disk numbers. It'll say disk number status size free and uh, I don't know what that stands for. Uh, DYN and GPT. Um, I have no clue what that stands for, but you're not really, you don't really need to know that. And if it says status online, then the computer, then it's powered on and it's ready to be messed with. And then, whatever one is corrupt for you, uh, you type in, just type in select or C E L E C T. All right, I'm gonna stop spelling that stuff out. Select disk and then put the disk number. And let's see what I'm gonna use. Um, let's use disk. Uh, let's see, disk one, because that's my storage. When you type in select. It'll say disk one is now selected, or it's now the selected disk. And what you want to type is clean, and hit enter. But I am not gonna hit enter because then that's gonna wipe my whole storage hard drive and have a bunch of important information on that. So, and whenever whenever you hit enter, it'll and just wait until some um the next thing comes down. Like it it'll pop up saying. Uh, it's been now been cleaned, and then what you want to type in after that is create partition primary, and then hit enter, and then um, and then it'll create. Basically, what that does is creates a partition. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a section of a hard drive, and you only need one. Uh, you only need uh, one section, and it's the primary, the main, and it's, it works the same way with hard drives or the USBs. And then when you hit enter, it'll create it, and then you can just type, you can just exit, you can hit the exit button, or you can type exit, that's just what I do. And then, uh, hit exit button, or, okay, that didn't work. Okay, after you exit that, what you want to do after that is, I think we could have done it in the command prompt, but this is just easier, instead of having to type a bunch of other stuff. And this is what I selected, and whatever you selected, and, and created the partition thing, and you want to right click, and click format. And then you just select the capacity. It should have the the capacity or the right capacity, and and then it just put it on the default. And then the calculation size, just keep it on whatever it comes up on, and then just name it. Like here it says storage. It says storage right there. Just in, uh, just type in what you want to name it, and then click quick format. Make sure it's selected, and then click start. I'm not going to do that because then it's going to erase everything. And then after it's done, you can close out, and then it'll be ready. So if this helped you in any way, and, and subscribe or like the video. Thank you.